previously. Don't get smart with me, babe. And so we go. Hello, friends. My name is Litter Knight, and welcome back to Bear With Me. I. First off, I am sick. If you hadn't seen the other videos where I've told you this, I, I am sick. I've missed two days of recording, so sorry if my videos are really weird. Um, <coughs> I also. <coughs> I also haven't played this game since September, um, so I had to go back and look at what I've already done and realize that I was frustrated because I didn't know what to do. So I looked up a tutorial, yeah I know, shocker, I looked up a tutorial, uh, just so I could figure out what to do next so we wouldn't just be sitting here for hours doing what I've already done. And it turns out I forgot this little thing over here, so apparently there's a coat that I couldn't see because it was all on the side of the screen. So this is where we're going to start from, in this coat is some coins that we are going to take uh there are a couple of coins in here we'll just borrow them <laughs> wow <laughs> and we're gonna go use these on the jukebox that we weren't able to use because i couldn't find any coins so yeah uh ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. And now, let's get this party started. I wanted to play this game because I'm sick. It requires me not to talk a whole lot, or at least read in a different voice. Uh, yeah. <coughs> My throat hurts. <laughs> but I need to get some recording done. So, yep. <coughs> I forgot how slow Amber moves. <coughs> Ted moves even slower. So there's a jukebox over here. Come on, Ted. <coughs> and we used coins on the jukebox. I should put in some coins first. Oh, fuck off. So, coins. Oh, jukebox. Alright. Come on, fortune. And there were some keys there. Not really sure what to do with that. Can't reach it by hand. Alright. Can I go get the fishing rod from the creepy dude outside? That's totally just catching fish and not stalking uh, Betty. Clark. That's his name. Clark. <coughs> Why is the witch just his name, Betty? Of all names you could have given her, you gave her such a stereotypical name. I guess that makes sense, since this is a child's mind. Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I borrow your fishing rod? <coughs> Clark, any chance we can borrow your fishing rod? Yeah, it's not like you need it anyways. No, no, I need it! For the cover. No, I have a feeling they'll start fighting soon. All the women you're harassing? The <laughs> fish! I'm just here to fish, damn it! How about you two be useful for a change and go get me some coffee from the diner? I can barely keep my eyes open anymore. Why don't you go and get it? Um, I, I would, but I, um, I, I can't leave this here post for too long. Maybe uh -huh. we can keep an eye while you go get some coffee. Yeah. I mean, no one ever went to jail for getting the cup of coffee. You could be the first. You're just trying to get rid of me so you can steal my uh, rod. No, we would never. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, if we get you some coffee, will you give us your fishing rod? I'll think about it. All right. Is it because you have a restraining order? You probably have some sort of restraining order against Betty. <coughs> 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 Come on, Amber. A little faster, please. Okay. Hey, Betty. <coughs> Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? It's for Clark. It's for Clark. Quote, unquote, fisherman out there. My God, he's <laughs> relentless. You can give him this. Tell him I've made it especially for him. 
did you? You didn't poison the... Do I look like a murderer to you? I mean, I mean... not right now. <laughs> oh my god, I've spiked it with some pepper, Ted. <laughs> Alright. I'll take it. There's a coin on that chair. Or I guess that's just decoration. <sighs> Alright. Coffee pot to Clark. Seems like a good idea, but something <laughs> is missing. Do I need a cup? Seems like Betty could use a hand around here. Do I need... That would be fun. Oh. Voila! It's complete! Okay. I don't need to come back inside anyhow. Oh well. Let's give this to Clark. Here you go, buddy. Betty said she made it especially for you. Hmm. Smells lovely. I'm sure, sure it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Clark, are you okay? <clears throat> no, I'm not. I'm soaked and it's freezing. Throw me something and get me out, you two idiots. Huh. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Clark. I feel so bad about this. Do you? The fishing rod. I'm sure Sneezy won't mind. Could I actually get you out? Never did enjoy fishing. I really can't get him out. Okay. <clears throat> this place wouldn't be the same without Betty. Go inside. <coughs> okay. Uh this uh, never this. did enjoy fishing. <clears throat> Can't reach it by hand. I have a fishing rod. Can I not use a fishing rod? On the shaft? Never did it. And why not? Never did. Fine. Use it on Amber. Ah. Please use the coin on the jukebox again? I'm not throwing money away. That's some fancy bro. You guys found CBG yet? No, I guess we're not trying hard enough. Yeah. Be sure to check the container terminal first. He's literally living there now. Container terminal? Did I not get the shaft? Never did. And what the fuck do I do then? Never did. Uh... No time. What? There, we've got a fishing line. Now let's throw this entire fishing rod away. Why? There has to be something else we can use this fish line with. There has to be... There has to be... There has to... There has to be... 
There has to be... Ugh. Funny, but... Okay, uh... Can I talk to Pete now? Or is he still sleeping? He is still sleeping. Okay. There has to be some... <sighs> Someone might get hurt that... <coughs> Someone might... Someone might... There has what? to be some... Nope. Someone might get hurt. No time for a sword fight. Uh... That would be fun. Okay. Um... Do you have anything else to say, Betty? <coughs> you guys found CBG? No. Yeah. Be sure to. Uh, okay. <coughs> what the hell is happening here? The cord is all tangled up. Alright. Can't do anything else there. I really hope we didn't scratch it. Don't worry about it. I am not going through. <sighs> okay, okay. <coughs> uh, I guess let's just go back. Can we put the fuse in the box now? Sorry, I tried to pop my neck. It's very sore. Nah, I don't. I, I fell off. Okay. Uh. <coughs> All right, let's give it a shot. Indeed. Got a fuse here. Seems like a good idea, but something is missing. Indeed. What's the switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. <laughs> Can't click the new clear strike button anymore. What's this round thingy, Ted? It looks like a plane turn coordinator, but that makes no sense. No, no, it doesn't. What's this shiny thingy? Looks like a detailed user instruction plate. Don't recognize the language, though. I want to say Chinese. Chinese. Uh, can I use the fishbone? Funny, but ain't gonna work. Ah, uh, what's shot? Uh... A nice leathery uh, briefcase. <coughs> I wonder what's inside. I'm still missing a key. It's trash. Fascinating. Right? Just an empty can. All right. You used to have a hat just like this. What happened to it, Ted? It's a long story. Uh... <coughs> Elizabeth jumped from her chair suddenly, all of the while looking at her mother. She seemed nervous. Mom, she asked, what if Mr. Mason doesn't find me interesting or pretty? Oh, sweetie, Mrs. Baker said. Don't you worry your pretty little head with such nonsense. Mr. Mason comes from a long line of public servants like his father and his father before that. They're the most boring people on earth. I'm sure he'll find you quite invigorating. You really think so? Elizabeth asked. Elizabeth! Mrs. Baker raised her voice slightly, annoyed by her daughter's doubtfulness. I said you'll do just fine. Now hurry on. Get yourself presentable. He'll be here soon. But mother, Elizabeth said tremblingly, I'm already wearing my prettiest dress. Oh dear, her mother gasped. Elizabeth broke into tears and ran upstairs to her room, passing her father in the hall. Okay then. That was... that was something. Did I not click on anything else? What do I do with the string? Uh. 
thought this was anything here, am I? Doesn't seem like it. <sighs> okay. <coughs> Wonder if Clark is still on the underground. Or, uh, down there. Funny, buddy. I thought I could throw it away, sorry. Let's show what I know. Alright, uh... Someone might get hurt that way. I agree. What else do I do, though? It's just for decorative purposes. Nothing works here. Good to know. There has to be... There has to be something else we can use this fish line with. There has... There has... There has to... There has... There has... There has... There has... Funny. 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 What do you want from me? I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing. Uh. There has to be something else we can use this fish line with. Like what? I've already picked everything else up. Funny. Can I use all the other shaft? Ted, you're the way. There has to be. Fish bugs? Funny. What do you want from me? What am I missing? There has to be. There has to be. There has to be. That would be fun. I use the oil pad here. That would be fun. And I use the pamphlet here. Throwing this away is about the only useful purpose that I can think <coughs> of. Okay. Right. What? That won't work. Okay. Just shot. It's about four feet. Uh. Nope. What? <sighs> Ted, are you working here? Don't act smart. You can't really. I'll just take this with me. Are you fucking serious? God damn it. Can I use this with that? Ta da! Behold the MCD 3000, the latest craze in fishing out metal things from hard to reach places. Fuck off. <sighs> okay. Well, back to the diner. Okay, can we use this on this now? Please. <coughs> <coughs> mm. 
Nice. Hell yeah. Got the keys. I'm so crafty. Oh, back to the terminal. Okay. We're back. But I forget to edit that out. Nope. So, like, that'd be really funny. So, yep. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's give it a shot. Let's, let, yeah, please. I'd rather, I want to get out of here so bad. Come on. There. <laughs> it's coming down. We did it, Ma. Hell yeah. Whew. Cross the bridge. And burn it down when we're done. Does that mean that I have a fish skeleton? Let's go. <sighs> I set this up. Oh well. <coughs> okay. Back to looking at everything. CBG really hates the birds, unlike Mr. Birdwatcher over here. <laughs> I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. Good to know. Wow, obsessed much? I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. Uh, okay. Stark Industries? Sounds familiar. Doesn't ring a bell. Jarvis. Sir, I'm afraid I don't recognize a logo. <laughs> Wow. Obsessed much? Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Is that all it's wow. gonna say? Okay. Uh, I guess let's just go. Oh, we're really two, though. Hello? Fences. Fences indeed. Okay. I wonder what's in You don't want to Okay, okay. I don't wanna know. I get it. Where do I go from here? Can I put this here? Funny, but it Nope. Can I use this here? Funny. And I gotta get jumped walking over here. Can I do anything? Please. Hello. See if I talk to Ted. I feel like littering for some reason. Oh, okay. Uh. Throwing this away is about the only trying, I really am. Throwing this away. Uh, Funny. Throwing this away. I'm trying to throw it away. Throwing this away. Funny. Uh, I feel like. Any. I feel like. Anything else? It's all me. I do feel like littering. Is there anywhere I could actually litter? Funny. What is this? Oh. This is the map. We should get back to the harbor doll. I need to talk to CBG and see if he knows more about all of this. You're right. Let's go back. <sighs> Try. Oil? That would be fun. Uh. Funny. Funny. Throwing this. Funny. 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 That would be f throwing the uh, funny, but God, 
Let me do something. Throwing this. No, that's not what I meant to do. We should get back to the right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up. Anything I could do with this Funny. at all. I feel like I'm trying to. Ah, popcorn. Duh. Oh, Jesus. Filthy beast. <laughs> ah, that one. That one over there. He's the Michael. I mean, he's the ringleader, Ted. You know? You know what they're doing, don't you? Seagulls. Yeah. Generally, they fly around looking for fish and making annoying sounds, but... No, 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 no. Open your eyes. Surveillance, Ted. Surveillance? They're the flying cameras. They monitor the entire city from up there. The seagulls? No, Bear. <laughs> They're just the means. Huh. <laughs> it's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you too, Ted. Is that the girl? She's grown. Hi, CBG. Long time no see. It's been too long, kid. Why the hell would you bring her here, Ted? It's not safe for her anymore. What do you mean? The city is not your playground anymore, girl. Not since that monster showed up. You're talking about Red? Shh! <laughs> Keep your voices down. Especially with all them birds around. Okay. What do you know about Red? What do you know about Red? Here's what I know, Ted. He came down to Paper City a week ago. And now he's burning it down from the inside out. Where did he come from? He just appeared in the city one day. <laughs> but the trail leads to the woods on Sorrow Hills. And I have a feeling he was invited. Invited? invited. By whom? Think about it, Ted. The elections are coming up. There's a new candidate on the rise. The one that was dabbling in criminal activity since forever now. King. Hmm. The one and only. Ugh. What makes you think <coughs> it was King? Have you been to the mill? It's where it all started, <coughs> Ted. The police did such a sloppy job. You'd think someone was paying them off. The pigs. It's where we're heading next. Where? To the mill, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go there, Ted. Do a little investigation of your own. Why would he do this? And why would King do this? He already has an entire city in his grasp. Seems odd he would bring in someone to help him. Especially someone who's obviously unhinged. And hard to control. For his own personal gain! I mean, the casino is still standing. Unburned. Could be just a coincidence. It could. Just that I don't believe in coincidences, girl. <sighs> How are you? How are you holding up, B? We've heard you've been scaring the harbor workers around here lately. No, no, no. They're okay. Hard-working bunch, the salt of the sea and all that jazz. They get scared easily is all. Are you using your deep voice when you're talking to them? No! I got old. Hurts my throat <laughs> nowadays. CBG, we're looking for Flint. Yeah, he's gone missing, and we fear the Red Man had something to do with it. Or at least, we hope he's hiding here in the city. Flint? You two came to the wrong place to look for him. Paper City is the place where people usually end up to go missing. <laughs> okay. So I gather you didn't see him. Did you have the time to look around, Snoop? The city's in chaos! I could have easily missed him even if he were here. Which I doubt. Honestly, can't even remember when was the last time I saw the kid. Millie <laughs> told me he was missing since last night. Millie? Yeah, she escaped the city through the East Tunnel's maintenance route together with the mugshot boys. Clever! Those two have potential. The shame they were always leaning on the wrong side of the fence. So they're staying with you now? For the time being. Rusty is there also. Good girl. <sighs> Just keep them away from here for now. The city is a ticking time bomb. Okay. okay, B. I'll bite. Let's say King really brought Red to the paper city to get leverage on Mills. But what could King possibly offer to someone like this? There seems to be only one thing he's interested in. 
and you brought her right to King's doorstep. I know Ray's uh, been asking around about her, but what uh, I want to know is why. Why? Who really has the power in Paper City? Is it the mayor, that pig, the shark and his goons? No, Ted. It's her. Amber. The girl, yes. She made the city, and it seems he came here to tear it down instead. He won't stop until he <laughs> finds her, and it seems Shark is desperate to arrange this meeting. It seems to me, Red has his own agenda. This is what happens when you're so dependent on the tool you're using that it ends up using you. If I find out King's behind all of this, he's going down for good this time. You go home and stay away from the docks. For the love of God, you live in the mansion. It's where they gather, Ted. The seagulls. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the seagulls. Come on, B. It's time to hang it up. I can't retire just yet, Ted. There's too much sadness on these streets. <laughs> Still, especially now that you're retired. You've heard about that. How could I not? The folks down at your old street held a two-day vigil. It's a damn shame, I tell you. Time waits for no bear, B. I got old. <laughs> Nonsense. You're as sharp as a thumbtack, Ted. Always were. We have to go now, B. Do what you gotta do, Ted. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I found this at the steel mill the other day. Take it. See if you can analyze it, Ted. What is it? It looks like some sort of a voodoo charm. This only proves what I've been telling you about King. Hmm. Seems a bit odd. King would leave something so obvious at the crime scene. I know. But at least take it with you. Maybe it can lead you in the right direction. All right, B. See you around. I hope you're a good golfer. CBG, what? can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Clark fell into the water near the diner. Can you check on him and make sure he gets out okay? Sure thing, girl. I'll get that idiot out. Thanks. Bye, B. You're gonna disappear? Okay, so we should go and see about the steel mill first, right? I was thinking maybe we could go and see Tigran Jones about the voodoo charm he found. What? I'm not going to see that witch. That's nonsense. It's not <laughs> nonsense. It's a lead. If anyone can tell us more about it, it's her. You never listen to my ideas. It's always about you and your stupid clues and- Fine. Okay. <laughs> Let's just hurry up. Voodoo, I mean really. But after that, we're going to the steel mill. Okay. I'm gonna grab this feather though. Aw, it's so soft and cuddly. Totally useless though. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? <coughs> Any luck yet? Not in my preach it, Ted. Oops. Okay. Uh okay, so Tiger Jones, apparently. I guess over here. <coughs> Paper City. I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with this place, I have to admit, and hand it to Amber. She really made this city feel the way it's supposed to be. It's gritty, dark, dirty and unforgiving. But most of all, it feels alive. It's almost as if the city itself could be a main character in some forgotten script on the desk of a writer who shot himself before he could write an ending. Okay. Everyone here has got a story to tell. If you lend him your ears for a couple of minutes, you can find out just about everything. And in these dire times, that's the main reason why I decided to return. Well, at least I keep telling myself that. I have to admit, it feels good to be back. It feels right. Paper City makes sense to me. People here, they make sense to me. It was good to see Betty again. I would never say this in front of her. But I miss her sometimes, and I messed up. I did. It's good to see she's fine and well. She's always had an admirable joy for life, and I'm glad that hasn't changed. CBG, on the other hand, is getting worse by the day. Most of the time, he just raves on about seagulls and other nonsense. It's a shame, but he always had a nose for sniffing out the bad, especially in this rotten place. Our best bet now is to retrace his steps and see if he overlooked anything. My gut tells me we should follow the steel mill lead, but the doll insists we seek out Tigran Jones first. I have little faith in this voodoo nonsense, and I'll play along for now. In any case, the thing I know is we have a long night ahead of us. The doll and I, a <laughs> long, long night. I see. <clears throat> Ted, 
It's him. He's here. Ted. Ted. Hello? I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you... Did you not see him? Him? The red man. He was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking what? about? What? I... I... Don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay. Just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too. But now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. You're stupid. <laughs> God damn it, Amber. <sighs> Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No. Because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm, I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. Okay. I think that's a great place to leave this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Good night, setting out. Bye!